Hi, I'm Gabriella, and I go by Feeding Wolves. In this video, we're going to take a look inside of the new MetaHumans Motion Logic Blueprint created by Facewear and Glassbox. What I'm going to do is walk you through all the steps you need to take in order to get this set up properly. So let's get started. To get started, we're going to head over to Facewear's website and we're going to go to start animating. Now, Facewear is running a special promotion for a free six month indie license for testing with the MetaHumans. This is a non-commercial license. We're going to click over here on the personal learning edition and we're going to add this to the cart. And over here on the right, we're going to add the promo code that I'm providing and we're going to apply this. And as you notice, it's going to zero out the price. We're going to process the checkout and you're going to sign in by creating an account. You're going to head over to downloads and you're going to download Facewear Studio. And once you open up Facewear Studio for the first time, you're going to enter your email and password. And if you have any questions about this setup, head over to the Discord channel that Facewear created. We're going to head over to Glassbox now and we're going to create an account and sign in. We're going to head over to products and select the live client. Now I am going to download a free trial for the live client plugin for Unreal 4.26 and you're going to need an activation key and you can find it right over here under the free trial tab. Next, we're going to head over to the MetaHumans tab and we're going to scroll down and we're going to locate this MetaHumans Blueprint package and download it. Now for this video, I'm going to be creating a blank project, but you are welcome to use the sample MetaHumans project you can find on the Unreal Epic Launcher. I've created a blank project and I'm going to go ahead and open up Quixel Bridge and I've downloaded a MetaHuman and I'm going to go ahead and export them to my open blank project. You're going to notice all of these plugins are going to need to be enabled. We're going to enable all of them and then restart the project. Once the project is restarted and the shaders have compiled, we're going to save this and close it out. Inside of the project folder, we're going to locate the blueprint that we just downloaded. I've gone ahead and unzipped it and you're going to find a content folder with a motion logic folder in there. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it inside of the project folder. The next thing we're going to do is locate the live client plugin that we just downloaded. We're going to create a plugins folder in our project and then copy and paste this inside of the plugins folder. And before you open up the project for the first time, make sure you have your activation key ready. We're going to go ahead and open up the project, enter our activation key for live client and start using Live Client for Unreal. Now we're gonna locate our MetaHuman and we're gonna right click and create a child blueprint class. We're gonna open this up and in the top left, we're gonna add a Facewear Live component, compile and save. And then we're gonna drop this child blueprint inside of the viewport. And on the right hand side in the details panel, we're going to select the body and we're going to change the blueprint to the facewear body blueprint. And then we're going to select the face and change that to the facewear face blueprint. I'm going to head over to facewear studio. Now I've imported a video of my face. I'm going to calibrate the neutral pose. And over here in the streaming panel, make sure you have stream to client activated and I have activated the head as well. I'm going to press play and inside of Unreal, I'm also going to press play. And as you can see, the animation is going to start playing instantly. And that's how simple it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be following up with another video showing how this blueprint is set up and how you can adjust the levels in Facewear Studio as well as the curves inside of the blueprint in order to fine tune and add personality to your characters. Now, if you made anything cool based on this video, please tag me, like, subscribe, and follow, and please feel free to tag Facewear and Glassbox.
Thank you for watching. Bye.